Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Red Dragon. And Red Dragon has a question about reincarnation. And Red Dragon would like my views on the following. Specifically, does the soul have a choice in its incarnations? And if so, does the soul tend to be reborn in places where it's already had lives? Or does it prefer totally new circumstances for each incarnation? Or is reincarnation simply something which we can never know all the details of in this life? And my answer to this is yes. I would say yes to all of these things within certain circumstances. The first one, I certainly have always been taught that the soul very much has a say in the nature of its incarnations. Now, you must understand we're talking about the higher levels of the soul and that it will move in accordance with its soul purposes, the lessons that it needs to learn. But very much I believe that it has a say in where it is reborn and how it is reborn and who it is reborn with, as well as many of the things that will be in that life. And does it tend to be reborn in the same place? Well, sometimes it does, particularly when working on related lessons. You'll see, if you do past life work, that sometimes there are many different lifetimes in a single location, or even in a single family. But at the same time, many other occasions you'll see the soul starting totally different places, totally different groups. And it kind of depends on where the soul is in its lessons. Sometimes it's still working with those places and still working with those other souls. Other times it is ready to start something completely new and we'll do exactly that. And finally, can we ever know everything there is to know about reincarnation in this life? I wouldn't really expect to. I would say that that is something that is really beyond our full comprehension. So we can speculate on these things and we can infer answers based on our experiences in working with past lives, but to really know about it, we'll kind of have to be on the other side. And then all of these things will be much clearer because we'll be dealing with them directly. But from the point of view of this world, it is again my understanding that yes, we do have a say in where and how our lives are structured, and that many times we will be surrounded by other souls we've had many lives with, or find ourselves in places where we've had many lives, and other times not. And it depends entirely on where we are with the lessons that we are working on, because ultimately the point is to learn, to grow, and to perfect the self. So, I hope that answers your question, and until next time, may you blessed be. Today's vlog is brought to us by the word athame. Athame. The magical knife, or athame, is an ancient tool of magic. It is used for many purposes, including casting the magic circle, and preparing various magical items or ingredients. In certain traditions, the athame must be of a particular color and be made in a particular way, but in general use today, an athame can be any sort of knife.